I know that you originally um, got into the game, um, you know, singing. And obviously, production um, is kind of what really, really took off. But, you know, you had the $100 million hook. You had a whole bunch of... I know my shit. I know my shit, right? Um, you had a whole, you know, and, and, and a lot of other, um, a lot of other writing credits and stuff like that. But lately, you've really been focused on, you know, production. But are we going to be able to hear any more Cool and Dre hooks, Cool and Dre singing? Are, are we yeah, going to get I mean, a, an album executive producer uh, on the wire? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, right now, I think, um, <laughs> the zone that we're in, I feel like right now where we're at is just making music. You know, we've been blessed, man. We've been blessed to work with Wayne on this Rebirth album. We've been blessed to work with Game on this, this new album, the Red album. And, and all the other people we're blessed to be working with, you know. We've been, you know, blessed to work with Duffy, you know what I mean? And, and, and do records with the Gym Class Heroes and, and a record with the Lincoln Park and Busta Rhymes. So oh, we've been introduced to, you know, We've, we've, we've worked our whole career doing hip-hop and R&B because we love it, you know what I mean? And, and I think we've, we've shown that we, we can create music that, that can cross genres, you know what I mean? It's not like it's rock and roll music or it's hip-hop music or whatnot. I feel as though we've come to a point in our career that we're making music that we feel can be you know, performed by more than just a, a rap artist or more than just a R&B artist or just a rock artist or whatnot, we feel as though we're making music that anyone can get on and do. So we're so into that right now that, you know, me thinking about doing no hooks or anything is not really relevant right now because we're such in the zone doing it. And I get the joy of doing it when we write records, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'll sing the melody for whoever we're working with to do it. I, I enjoy that, you know what I mean? As far as going out there and, and doing all that other stuff, I don't know. Like, I, I, you know, I've been called by, by friends and peers. I've been getting some phone calls like, yo, you need to do that, you need to do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm cool right now. I enjoy just making music. And the studio has been spoiling us crazy, so I don't want to leave it. Well, hey, you got a home here. You really don't need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one thing that um, I noticed, um, you know, from actually following you on Twitter, is um, you're actually very outspoken in your opinions about politics yeah. and the president, and that's something that I haven't. Um, I would say that not too many people in in your type of position um, are necessarily. Um, how important, you know, as someone who spends so much time on music, is it to have like something else that's kind of like your passion to make sure that like you don't get too overwhelmed. No, I just, I, you just cool to tell you, nah, okay. you know, I got engaged during the, uh, I've always been into politics as far as, as how, how it affects us, you know what I mean, and I, I just became engaged during the, the Democratic primaries, because I originally was one of those who was backing Clinton on the strength of Bill Clinton, that's, I, I'm not ashamed to say it, I, you know, I wasn't engaged. You know, I just was like, Bill Clinton, we need a Clintons back in the White House, you know what I'm saying? And then as the Democratic primaries went on, I found myself immersed in politics. Like every, you know, every, my, all the televisions in my house was on MSNBC and CNN all day long. We were working on Latifah, some of Latifah's album at my house. And every, she'll tell you, every television was on MSNBC or CNN. And, and I saw how... When, when you when you can reach people, you know, and Barack has a, such a special gift to reach so many people, and you you get people to become engaged, you can affect. We have a voice, like we do have the power to make change. So you know, with the whole Twitter thing, you know, I'm you know, cool, and I really ain't into the youth streams and all that stuff, and. And, you know, our manager will tell you, you know, it takes her forever to try to get us to do some PR things. We're not really into all that. But with the Twitter, I was like, you know what? I'm in a position where people are going to follow us because they like our music. So I'm not going to sit here and be promoting, oh, so, you know, we in the studio with this and this. And, oh, yeah, 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 yeah listen to this record we did and this record. Nah, like, you know, I'm engaged and there's so many things that I feel affect the community and our people 
that I feel as though I could break it down for them in a way that they can understand. You know, they might not be able to understand a Chris Matthews or a or, or Rachel Maddow, but I could kick it to them in a way that, to where it makes sense to them. So that's what, you know, that's what I've been doing. Absolutely. Well, but, I don't want to... I don't want to um, leave y'all without giving you guys the opportunity to um, talk about Sea Ride um, and Epidemic, um, as well as any other projects. Maybe not so, you know, um, that really don't have anything to do with music. Like I know you guys have a clothing line mm -hmm. that sometimes you don't mm -hmm. really um, yeah. have the, the the platform to talk about. But um, you know, I know that people would like to learn more about that. I know I would. So yeah. we we got Dirty Royalty. Cool started it, mm -hmm. and um, it's a clothing line so. that we didn't try to make a clothing line. You know, we were we were working at Circle House Studios every day and Cool was on his laptop making the, the dopest designs. And uh, we were just talking, he'd be like, this you know, this should look dope on a t-shirt. So next thing you know, Cool just made a couple t-shirts and gave it out to us and the crew. And one shirt turned into another design and another design and then people started seeing us wearing it. And then we got a phone call from our boy from Shoe Gallery, Danny from Shoe Gallery, like, yo, I'm here and y'all got something, just bring it over to the store. You know, we put some stuff in there and it was like gone in like three days. He's like, man, you should bring me some more stuff. And it's just been, you know, it's been ongoing to where now we're like, it moved faster than we envisioned it to because I guess, you know, of our status. But um, now we're like getting like manufacturing done overseas and it's like, <laughs> man, it's moving. It moves it's a, a lot movie. faster than we ended. Yeah, it's a movie. So. And, and the, the way it's moving for us is that we, we, we try to keep our expectations. We can, you know, we hedge it, you know, so... Everything it, it it it's growing organically. Yeah. Like you know, it's in a couple stores around the country just because, you know, someone over here we knew did something on this and that. But we just hooked up with some new people that's really gonna take our ideas to the next level because we don't have as much time to really put yeah, that's the into job that. Itself, you know? yeah. so we want we want to make sure it it's done the right. Attention. Yeah. So look out for Dirty Royalty. Look out for Sea Ride Automatic Vibe. That's yes. coming. And then we got a site, a new site that we launched recently called RachelDemo.com. Okay. It's a community-based website where me and Dre are actually there, and we, we listen to these to kids' music, you know what I mean, and give them, give them our professional feedback on how we feel that, you know, they can make their records better. And, um, you know, it's been popping off crazy. The community's up to, like, 15,000 sign-ups, and it's, yeah. it's, it's dope. So we're really excited about that as well. Oh, well... Cool, Dre. Yes. I appreciate the opportunity. You guys gave me even the, the you know the new studio, um, yeah, the yeah, interview. Yeah. You know that um, Jesse McGuire and the radio station you know will always support you, and um, it's a blessing to see guys so successful yet so humble. Oh, and I really, um, I, I really hope that all the up and coming producers and artists that you know are either listening to this on the radio or watching this online somewhere, you know, they understand that just because you know you're getting money and you're successful, you still gotta remain humble and. Um, but it's, it's definitely dope, but I appreciate the opportunity, and... We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you very much. Peace and love.